I have a quick question um, about revenue um, because th that's the other piece of what you're talking about, Bob, is that we are we are going to need to generate more revenue at the at the federal level. And I'm wondering, um, now that you're out of Congress and not facing any re-election battles, um, if you can um, talk to you know some of your you know fellow uh, Democrats, even some Republicans, um, and about the idea that you know Democrats have this idea where you can't tax anybody who's earning less than four hundred thousand dollars a year, but in order to right the ship, we may have to. What's your perspective on that? And if and do you share that view? And 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 if so, what would be the best way of of uh, of getting there, of raising the revenue that that we need? And if I could remind everyone, the the Trump tax cuts are scheduled to expire in 2025, which is yeah. right after an election year, right? So we're up here in New Hampshire, and all these presidential candidates, of course, are going to be promising, you know, to extend the tax cuts. So our revenue problem is going to worsen. Uh, so, so your question of has you know even more strength to it. Yeah, I will say, I you know I I thought a lot about those issues, and I have a very hard time telling people that they are going to face a tax increase given the current mess of our federal budget. And what I see throughout the federal budget is a number of corporations who are basically taking advantage of the American taxpayers. They're taking advantage of us through Medicare, um, through, through the reimbursement rates, through all sorts of things just riddled in that program. Um, they're taking advantage of us in the Department of Defense. And there was a huge expose about how our Navy built, you know, a number of, I think they're called littoral combat ships that had to be trashed because they were so poorly designed. Um, it was something, I think it started out $250 million to build them, ended up around 500 million for each one. And there was gonna be $70 million annually in operating expenses. And they didn't even work. And I, I think <laughs> until I could make the case to people that our budget is tight, that we really have run through it and we have wrung it dry, then I think, you know, then we can go and have a conversation uh, uh, about taxes. And I mean, I think it's, it, this is also in the tax code as well, that we have a lot of, you know, individuals who are not paying their fair share. We have corporations that are not paying their fair share. And I would need to make the case that that has been addressed before I ever went to a middle class person and said, you know, I'm going to you know, we're going to propose something to increase your taxes. So that those those issues, um, I, I really felt quite strongly about that, that and I can talk some about when we did the state budget. We really wrung it dry. And then we went to people and said, look, you know, we have no other place to turn. And so I think you have to make that case first. You know, there's quite a uh, the, 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 the target of uh, target rich opportunity in the tax expenditures. Um, yes. You know, deductions, credits, uh, special rates, um, all of those. And both, we talked about commissions before, um, the Bull Simpson Commission and the unofficial one that I served on, Dominici Rivlin. Uh, we got big savings from closing those tax loopholes because, you know, you're right. You can't just say, well, let's raise rates on the current system because it's like pumping air into a tire with holes in it uh, so exactly so i think that um uh but it's just another argument for where you gotta put, get serious about uh putting everything on the table and yeah. uh, um as, as our our co-chairs used to say in the kerry danforth days uh, they used to refer to these things as tax entitlements uh Thank so you. done well done that's good use of language I think we should flip things around. What we should do is just get rid of all of them and make people come back and re-litigate which ones they want. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I mean, I think that that's a good- Which ones they want to add back in. And yeah, so we well, have uh, zero-based buzz, budgeting yeah. on the revenue side. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, well, we'll uh, that'll be your next stop, Ed, that we can try to uh, <laughs> there we go. get yeah. some attention. Yeah.